Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to show you development of a truncated cone that is flat pattern in SOLIDWORKS. So left side you can see truncated cone and uh, right side the flat pattern. See this is the cone which I am going to create. This is truncated cone and I am going to show you how to create a flat pattern. So let's start now. So I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file, select the top plane, go to sketch, create a circle, here I am going to make one center line, so make sure that it is uh, horizontal. and this is 100 so I'm going to make one construction line so make sure that it is coincide with the circle and uh, select the mirror command select this line mirror about the center line now dimension this it's 2 mm so it is fully constrained now trim this area see here so it is fully defined sketch So come out of the sketch, see here, now create one more plane parallel to top plane, so it is 100 mm apart from this top plane, say ok, select this plane, go to sketch. Now draw one more circle and make it 50. So you can assign any value. Now go to convert entities, select these two outer lines from the previous sketch. Say OK. Select these two with control button and make it construction see here now go to power trim and trim this area and come out of this sketch see here now we can hide the plane go to sheet metal module select the loft command See the thickness is 2 mm and make sure that it is formed and select these two lines and say ok. See here. Now select the front plane, go to sketch, draw one line. and uh, it should be inclined at 45 degrees so it is moving outward so just slightly move downward now go to surface select extruded surface mid plane and simply drag one side see here 
you can give value if you want so I'm giving 100 and save it for better understanding I'm going to change the color see here now select this surface go to surface module and select cut with surface see here so I am removing material in this direction see the arrow direction so say ok so it is removed so I am going to hide this surface see this is the truncated cone now we can go to sheet metal and select flat metal select this face and go to select normal to surface see here you can hide sketches see so this is mostly useful for sheet metal as well as some artwork like when we make any designs with a flat sheet of paper so this is a brief about the development of a truncated cone that is a flat pattern in sheet metal thanks for watching